Every now and then, some really exciting news comes across our desk late in the year, and this is one that looks ultra promising for next year and beyond. This definitely looks like we have some legitimate news here on brand new games coming to the yet-to-be-released Nintendo Switch 2, and we're not talking third-party. Like, this is Nintendo games. Big Nintendo games coming some that may surprise you and this is real news not rumors not the leaks i know we do a lot of that especially this time of year but right now this is legitimate stuff thanks to some new hiring posts at one of nintendo's partner companies making nintendo exclusive games oh boy are you guys ready for this because i know whew, had to put on the suit jacket for it <laughs> because we're getting hyped around here let's dive right in Bandai Namco, everybody. That's right. Bandai Namco, the co-developer of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and has helped on other Nintendo projects as well. I have brand new hiring posts out there. And oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is for two completely different games. And the first one we have to talk about, the very first one we have to talk about is Smash Brothers. That's right, folks. One of these hiring posts appears to be related to Smash Brothers. Now, these hiring posts are specifically for their Studio S slash C, their recently announced consolidation of their development teams that make exclusive Nintendo games. And this hiring post is insane. Well, here's what it's about. A side view action game that involves building and designing stages. Folks, I know the word action can be used to apply to pretty much any genre. You can call a Mario game action. You can call Splatoon action. You can call Smash action, Zelda, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It can apply to anything, but side view, building stages, developer that already did this before in the past for other Smash games. Yes, folks, it appears a brand new Super Smash Bros. game is in the works right now. Now, notably, this is the first time we have actually seen this in a hiring post at Bandai Namco, pretty much since the last ending of the DLC for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So, it's safe to presume that this is a fairly new development cycle. I don't know that we should suspect to be like, oh, we're getting a brand new Smash Bros. game in 2024, or, you know, the first full year of Switch out in 2025, we're going to get a new Smash Bros. game then. It could be a 2026 game, but the point is it looks like a brand new Smash Bros. game is in the works. The question now will just be when are they going to reveal it? I know a lot of us thought that Ultimate might just be forward ported. It appears we might be wrong based on this hiring post, and that's okay. If I'm ever to be wrong about something, it's about porting a game. I'd rather be wrong on that because we're getting a new one, and that is stupidly exciting. But the Bandai and Apco hiring posts don't stop there. What if I were to tell you that they are also remaking slash remastering a 3D action game for Nintendo as well? Oh, folks, there's a brand new post for that. And while this post doesn't specifically mention that it's going to be a remake or remaster, it's a temporary hiring. It could last up to four years. That's like the maximum length of the contract if they really like you. And you'll probably work on multiple projects during that time. This actually relates to a hiring post from two years ago where they were also hiring for a 3D action game with the person needing to be able to HD remaster and redo textures in the background, background art assets in a game. Now, we went through and double checked all of the 3D Nintendo games that have come out since this hiring post, and Bandai Namco is not in the credits of any of them, suggesting that that game they were hiring for two years ago still hasn't come out. That also means they've been working on this remake or remaster for at least two years, if not a bit longer than that. And then you throw in they're still hiring for this 3D action game for Nintendo, suggesting that maybe it's getting towards the end of development, or maybe they're starting to ramp up development of another Nintendo game. Whatever's going on, there is a remake or remaster that Bandai Namco has been working on for a 3D action game for some time. So then the question is, what is that 3D action game? Now, I know when everybody thinks about Nintendo, the first thing that pops to mind is Zelda, right? It's their big action adventure series. It has action in its damn genre. We all jump straight to Zelda. And you know what? If this is a 3D remake or remaster of a Zelda game, look, we already have Twilight Princess in HD and Wind Waker in HD. I doubt it would have been those, but it could have been. 
this just brings us right back to Ocarina of Time. I'm, we're going to keep beating that Ocarina of Time drum. Look, we're hyping it responsibly. We want to manifest Ocarina of Time into reality here when it comes to remakes and remasters. But again, we don't know what this is, so we can't just dismiss every other possibility. Sakurai, who has worked directly with Bandai Namco in the past, or Smash Bros. and stuff, has said, said several times he wants Kid Icarus Uprising to come back. Kid Icarus Uprising is a 3D action game from the 3DS, so it could be a Kid Icarus Uprising. It could really be a, a, anything. You know, if a 3D action, side-scrolling view, stage-building game uh, is Smash, which is a fighting genre game, then clearly this 3D action game could pretty much be anything from Nintendo. It could be a Mario game. It could be a Pokemon game. I know they did work on Pokemon DX, so they're doing Pokemon DX Deluxe Deluxe 4K Edition. I mean, they'd probably call that a 3D action game. So there's a lot of things this could be, but in my mind, I'm so convinced this is Zelda. I might need someone to knock me off my perch because 3D action remake by a big third party company. I kept telling people Nintendo was going to keep the remakes and remasters of Zelda going. They weren't going to do it themselves, they were going to hire a different studio. Bandai Namco seems like the perfect studio for it. Now, I do know some of you guys might assume this is Metroid Prime 2 and 3 Remaster, and very much that could be a thing as well. Although, based on what I've heard, those games are done, so they wouldn't still be hiring for those games, if that makes sense. Uh, but who knows? Also, what happens if they're making a brand new 3D action game as well for Nintendo Switch 2? Again, what the hiring post from two years ago clearly indicated remake and remaster. This hiring post doesn't mention that. So while they might be helping close out that project, this is a four-year possible term suggesting that there's another game they're going to be making that could be three to four years out. What game is that going to be for Nintendo? Is that a new pocket tournament? Is that going to be something else entirely? And Bandai Namco has been entrusted with a larger Nintendo IP. I don't know, man. All I know is it's really exciting to have this news as we're getting to the end of 2024 because the one thing we're not getting are, is big news from Nintendo. Sure, we got some stuff out there. They did do an update for F-099, which is really cool. The freeze update. They're freezing over some courses. Slip and slide everywhere. And a super fast game with a bunch of slipping and sliding. It's a little wild, but hey, it's a thing. Guys, I'm just really excited. You know, as much as we talk about rumors and leaks, and I love talking about that kind of stuff, when we have real, tangible news to speculate on, it doesn't really get better than that. Well, it does. Nintendo could just unveil Switch 2 already. That would be maybe at the top of my list. I don't know. You guys let me know what you're thinking about all this stuff down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime, and as always, we'll catch you in the next video. Video. <laughs>